He is a sophomore. Kai stands 5'11". Brady Preston. Brody Preston, a 5'8 freshman. It looks like he's going to start at point guard. Drew Skimper, the freshman as well. He's six foot tall. Aaron Hendrickson, uh, extremely good rebounder at 5'8". He's a junior. And rounding out the starters for Northern Valley is Jason Cox, a 5'10 freshman. As Northern Valley gets in here, uh, uh, going to get started here working this ball around. Going to get a three-second violation in the lane. I think that was Hendrickson who was kind of standing around. Northern Valley wasn't quite... Uh, uh, very sharp on that first possession. So this is Kelby Garrett right here, running the point here for Rollins County Buffaloes. Over to Grady. As Northern Valley's in a man-to-man -man defense, uh, the Atwood Buffalo's got an isolation play here to the rim, goes Delaney, and Delaney with the miss and, and cleaned up in there by Drew Skimper. Kai Cox on the wing now as he drives to the bucket and kicks right back out. As Northern Valley's going to set in, looks like they're going to try and get into a, uh, uh, a pick and roll here game with Brody Preston and Aaron Hendrickson. Kick back out to Drew Skimper up here on top, right back inside, but Hendrickson wasn't quite ready for that. That ball's going to uh, be turned right over to the Buffaloes. So Garrett once again here on the point. Over to Paz. Now to Beckman. And Beckman back into the corner to Garrett. Where they're going to run a two-man game. And Garrett's going to go around him to the right side. Kai Cox is using his hands too much, cheating there, as he's going to get whistled for the foul. Uh, Trying to replay this here real quick as, as Kai Cox just reaches out with that right hand and going to be out of bounds here to the Buffaloes. The restraining line is in action here when in Atwood. has uh, caused some problems early in the season, but it's been a few games since Northern Valley's seen it, so we'll see if that impacts the game here a little bit. Lowe Hefner's going to set the offense. He's guarded by the by Skimper. He goes right around him, but he's going to get called for a violation, a carry there by Lowe Hefner, and uh, uh, it's going to be a turnover. Northern Valley to take it over as Brody Preston is going to set the offense. He's going to travel over there in the corner. I believe that's the second one there by uh, Northern Valley. Can't, haven't even got much of a shot opportunity up yet as Northern Valley has been awfully sloppy. I, I uh, tried to convince you guys that this was going to be a great matchup right here. And, and uh, um, so far everything's come out a little cold here on a Saturday. Uh, but Garrett had gone all the way to the rim and uh, just missed that one short. Rebound Huskies as they try to get something here offensively going. Looks like another turnover by the Huskies. This one goes in the books against Jason Cox as Coach Brands has had enough. Brings in uh, Jeremiah Hansen. Uh, sitting is Aaron Hendrickson. So they're, they're talking about who they're going to match up man-to-man. -man. Garrett to set. Skip pass way over into the corner to Delaney. And Delaney, or yeah, Delaney will take it to the rim and get a blocking foul on uh, Cox. Jason Cox with his first team second foul as Atwood will take it out underneath. Northern Valley stays in the man to man coming into this uh, inbounds plays. He's doubled in the corner. Good pump fake and a nice drop over here. But the bucket does not go for Delaney. Thought he was going to capitalize on that nice play by Atwood. So here's Hanson's first opportunity. He goes around, makes a beautiful pass inside to Skimper. That's the way the pick and roll was supposed to work. Those two freshmen have been doing a long time right there. Jeremiah impacts the game right away with a great pass and Skimper with the finish. That's more of the Northern Valley offense that we've seen from this junior varsity side. They do a great job of sharing the ball and uh, finding open shooters. Inside, deep into the paint goes Kraus. Kraus kind of in no man's land down there. It was kind of out of the – didn't have anywhere to go. Tried to force one up. It's going to be taken out of there by the Huskies as they drop into their offense here. Jeremiah Hansen with a nice little pull-up jump or nothing but net. Jeremiah's a great uh, defender. Uh, uh, he takes on that role in the varsity game. They want him to, to pick up the scoring when it comes to the junior varsity game to make a, a, a great basketball player out of him, a heck of an athlete that uh, is just trying to hold his skills right here. 
So Garrett going to go around them to the right. Every time they beat them three times, I believe, down to this right side baseline. Garrett and uh, uh, I believe it was Beckman also have, have made good progress on that. But Northern Valley shut them off every time. Uh, they can't let them continue to get that free path. they got to break down a little bit and play a little bit better defense. Into the corner to Beckman. Or no, that's low. Uh, low Hefner tries to squeeze it in to Delaney, but it's picked off by Skimper. Kai Cox all the way to the rim. Little floater's not going to go. Rebound Brody Preston. He's going to uh, be called for the travel in there. As uh, It was a great play by Krause. Pete Krause, the six-foot freshman, got in there and blocked that shot and kind of uh, just stuffed it right back in Preston's face. He, get, he had a wide-open rebound. He just thought it was going to be easy, and, and Krause thought otherwise. So Paz tries to go around, but Brody Preston now with the steal. Kick over to Jeremiah Hansen, up to the rim, up and in. Third nice play by Jeremiah Hansen. Very athletic play on that one. Right back at us is, is Garrett, but he misses the layup as well. A ball's going to be tied up, and it'll stay here with the Buffaloes. Just as Jeremiah Hansen had taken it all the way to the rim, uh, Kelby Garrett did the same, just couldn't get the ball to fall. Buffaloes to inbounds. Trying to figure out their offense in this in this setup as, as they look like they might be running a little bit of a two-man game up here up top. Swing into the corner to Delaney. Delaney's working on Cox. Back out to pass. He's going to go all the way to the rim. Going to have it blocked in there by Kai Cox, rebounded by Preston, and he will push the issue as up, to the, up the sideline as Cox. Great defensive play by Delaney. It's going to go off of Cox's leg, turnover Northern Valley. Good steal by Delaney. In for the Buffaloes is Rickford, Ashton Rickford, a 5'5 freshman. And back in for the Huskies, looks like Aaron Hendrickson as Jason Cox will sit. Here's Rickford. Now to pass, trying to go inside to Delaney. Delaney here in the corner, dead ball, and, and Kai Cox is all over him, trying to get the ball in. Jeremiah Hansen stole, and now he's got to push. He's got two opportunities. What's he going to do? He's going to reset, swing it all the way around to Brody Preston, two-man, and going to bring that ball. Look at that. They're sharing the ball, finding the wide open. The hot shooter is Hansen. He, but this one turns up short, rebound Delaney. 2.30 to go here in the opening quarter as Atwood's still trying to get on the board here. Northern Valley's pressure man-to-man -man defense is causing some problems. Low Hefner over to Garrett. Looks like Garrett, no, that's, that's Rickford. Rickford over here is going to get called for the travel. Northern Valley will take over. The hot hand, Hanson, sets the offense. Northern Valley's really done a good job with that two-man pick-and-roll game. And backdoor cut, Aaron Hendrickson, but he misses the bunny. He's going to save it to Hanson, save the possession. Good play, but couldn't make it happen. Inside to Skimper. He wasn't ready for it. He was wide open, just wasn't ready for it. But the Northern Valley will control. Skimper inside to Hendrickson. Couldn't get that one to fall either. Hendrickson's had a couple opportunities, just couldn't make them pay. Low Hefner. To pass into the corner to Rickford. Now to Low Hefner. He's going to pump fake and go around. Skimper go to the rim. He's going to get fouled. No, travel call in there. As he tried to go to the rim, it got him really crowded in there as Skimper and uh, Jeremiah Hansen and Brody Preston all collapsed on the ball, causing, causing them to travel. Northern Valley is using this high ball screen 
and uh, Atwood is, is not switching enough on it and given opportunities to push the ball inside, get some easy looks. Great steal here by Pete Krause, led by all six of those points. Well, Jeremiah's only got four, but he led to the other bucket with a nice assist. He's having a real hot first quarter. Here's Rickford in the corner, now to Paz. Paz working on Preston. Now back to Rickford in the corner. Up top, Delaney is going to get fouled by Kai Cox. I believe that's going to be a second of the first quarter. Third team foul for the Huskies. Trying to go for the steal, just, just was a, a little aggressive. Couldn't Good play there by Delaney to shield him off. Rickford now to the hole. Nice bounce pass inside. Shot up and just short for Kraus. Offensive rebound to to Delaney as they will reset here with Paz with 27 to go in the first quarter. Now to Low Hefner. Doubled in here to, and, and they're trying to get a shot off Northern Valley. He's playing some pretty good defense here. A three second violation. Don't know who he caught in there, but a three second violation. So Northern Valley takes over 10.7 to go. Let's see what they can do with this. Getting a good shot off here quickly. Preston picks up his dribble now to Hanson with four, three, two. Hendrickson's going to have an opportunity, but he doesn't realize it, and that'll be our quarter. Second quarter of action here. Looks like the same players are going to be out there. Cox, Jason Cox, Drew Skimper, Jeremiah Hanson, Brody Preston, Kai Cox, who's taking this ball on the inside. Going to get a foul on that one. And for Rollins County, looks like Paz. And uh, uh, Rodriguez is another player who's just checked into the game. Brian Rodriguez, number 15, uh, a 5'10 freshman. Number one, Isaac Domsch. As Cox gets underneath here, Isaac's going to get his first action here at the junior varsity game. Also on the floor is Kraus, Mo Hefner, and I'm missing one here. That's the other Domsch. There's two domes on. And it's stolen out of there by Brody Preston. Over to Kai Cox running the floor up with the left hand. going to make the bucket and get fouled. The foul is going to go against Pete Krause, it looks like, as uh, Northern Valley got that rebound and pushed Kai all the way up in front, gets hammered, gets the foul, gets the bucket. We'll see if he can complete the three-point play as Kai Cox will make his first trip to the free throw line here tonight. That'll be the second team foul on the Buffaloes. Cox's shot goes off the back iron, hits the back uh, or the top side of the um, backboard, and I believe it hit the, there's an X support back there. And once it does that, the ball is then officially dead, turned up back over as, as Atwood or the Buffaloes will take over. Here's Rodriguez. Nice pass inside to Kraus. Kraus nice inside to Domsch, and he's going to go to the line. So the uh, new kids that uh, came onto the floor there for Rollins County, certainly making an impact quickly with nice passes as the ball went from uh, Rodriguez to Domsch to into uh, Paz, and he goes to the free throw line. Jose Paz, a uh, six-foot junior, knocks both free throws down, making our score 8-2 Northern Valley here. 7.22 left to go in the first half of the boys' junior varsity action. Cox is called for a travel. I believe that's Jason's second traveling violation over there. And the Buffaloes will reset. Low Hefner, over to Paz. That's Alex, and now to his brother, Jose. Alex going to fire a three. He's going to nail a three. Man, that looked pretty and smooth and very confident shot there by Alex Paz as he drains that three-pointer. Jeremiah pull up for a jumper, going to be long, rebounded by Cox. Cox inside, interior pass to Skimper. Skimper makes nice, clean work of it. Doesn't go too fast. 
just methodically just kind of pumps around and goes and gets the bucket. Good catch by Kraus. Kraus is going to go up and he's going to score. Now is the game where we're anticipating here where these two teams are getting after each other, putting the ball in the hole. And Coach, their bench is right here below me, and, and he's wanting them to break down and, and not give up so many easy pass to the basket there for the Buffaloes. Preston tries to squeeze it inside. Looks like that was kicked out of there by Low Hefner. It's Rodriguez over to Paz. Pump fake. He had missed, made a three. Good, good drive in here by Kraus. Kraus going to be just long. Rebound Preston. Hansen on the wing. Going to run that two-man pick and roll with Cox. Stolen by Kraus. Kraus just can't capitalize on the bucket as he was wide open out there. Skimper was bearing down on him, but uh, he had an opportunity, but he dribbled it right off his foot. Go back over to Northern Valley. Good hustle play there by Kraus. Great active hands by Paz. Stolen out of there by... Well, that, those active hands I just talked about by Paz is going to get him victimized with a foul. That's going to be the team fourth foul, first foul on Alex Paz. Pay attention to that restraining line over there they did. As here in, in Atwood, that will always come into play. Cox de decides to go around the screen the other way. Brody Preston to fire a long two as Jeremiah Hansen went up for the rebound, kind of went right over the top of the man in position. That was Brian Rodriguez. He had good position in there, and they're going to get a foul call on Jeremiah. His first team fifth as Northern Valley's gone to a 2-2-1 press. Look here and see if they can get a little more active hands. As, and that's just what happens. Drew Skimper gets his hands on one, knocks it out of bounds. As now they're going to look like they're going to call off the press and match up man-to-man. -man. Paz on top. Flips it back over his head to Dom. No, excuse me, that's Paz as well. Rodriguez in the corner. Working on Hanson, going around a pick and scream. Switched over there by Preston. He's going to get around both of them up and in with the left hand. Great play, and we're going to show you that one on a replay because that was a great play by uh, Rodriguez. As he went around two people, went up and over Cox, and he's going to make that bucket as Northern Mali turns it over with a quick travel on the other end. But a great play by Paz. 9-10 as the Rollins County Buffaloes have come back here in the second quarter and and made this thing a ball game. We will be playing a full junior varsity game here tonight as the press works to perfection this time. Looks like Alex Paz is going to let that ball get away from him, trying to go a long pass down the sideline, just goes out of bounds. Cox calling for his team to set up. And let's get this thing started. Backdoor cut by Skimpers. Going to be knocked out of it, out of there. Great play, Rodriguez. As Rodriguez gets his hand in there and knocks it off Skimpers' knee. As he Whether you're saving for a special purchase or thinking about the future, they've got a variety of saving options as well. It's all available at the First National Bank and Trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Rodriguez breaks the press real quick over to Kraus, but he can't capitalize on the baseline jumper. Northern Valley's gone quite cold here in the second quarter. Haven't been able to find anybody who can put the ball in the basket. Going to have a three-second violation. I think they caught Drew Skimper with a left foot in the lane there. Northern Valley's had some success. With this 2-2-1 two, two, press, they are going to continue to stick with it and probably, just like any other press, they're going to stick with it until they get burned with it, and it's going to work again uh, right here. Grady Lohefner has called for a violation. Oh, 
man-to-man -man stretching way out here for the Buffaloes. They finally figured out how to get that pick and roll figured out a little bit, but then when Drew Skimper gets the ball that deep, he's very difficult to control. He capitalizes on that nice, another assist by Northern Valley, that one by Kai Cox, stolen by Brody Preston, tries to get it over to Hanson, and he's going to throw it away. As, as Hanson, I believe, was getting ready to go uh, rebound, and that ball kind of got behind him and couldn't get his hands back to, to recover. Great up pa pass to pass. He's going to go to the rim. No, he's going to dump it off for Krause, and he'll capitalize on that one. Pete Krause. He's had a couple opportunities in there, and, and the guards are really finding the big man. Uh, he's, he's finding himself to the basket. Right here, he's going to be backdoor to uh, Skimper. With the left hand, it was just a little short, but uh, Kraus and Hendrickson battle for that rebound. It's tied up. It'll stay with Northern Valley as Kai Cox will inbound it underneath. Uh, the six-foot Aaron Hendrickson is always a load underneath the basket. He's a rebounding machine down there. He knows his role and plays it quite well. Cox into the corner for Hanson. Open for three. This one's going to be long. Rebounded by Drew Skimper. Taking his time. Misses this one. Gets another offensive rebound opportunity. Up and in. Does not use the glass on that time. Score for Drew Skimper. Nothing but hustle plays there as he's in with two offensive rebounds on that sequence. Picked off here by Kai Cox as the press is working for the Huskies. Nobody stops Cox with the left hand up and around. He's going to control the offensive rebound. Kicked out to Hanson in the corner. Hanson with a little step back now to Skimper. Preston resets the offense. Northern Valley is looking for a little motion here. Two-man game that's worked so well. It's going to work again to perfection. They get it into Drew Skimper, and he scores again. You get the ball deep into Drew Skimper, you might as well put it on the books. He's got eight now in the first half. Paz with the left hand trying to go around Cox. Hand check there by Kai Cox. I believe that's three on Kai Cox on the evening. Um, just using his hands a little too much in there. As Jason Cox looks to be uh, checking in for Kai. He's going to have to sit with those three, three fouls with 148 left to go in the first half. That might be the half for Kai Cox. Rodriguez trying to shake and bake, go all the way to the rim. Nice play, but they're going to call a travel. Uh, Rodriguez had gone right around uh, Hanson, which is difficult to do. Hanson's a pretty good athlete in there. Rodriguez right to the rim and scores it, but they would call a travel, and so it'll be a turnover. Northern Valley will reset this offense here, trying to get that pick and roll down, push this ball inside to Skimper that's worked so well here in the first half. This one goes to Hendrickson as nobody left him. They double-teamed the ball up top to Brody Preston and uh, got it in to Hendrickson, and he will score that easy bucket right there as Hendrickson with this capitalizes right back into the pressure. Now it's stolen by Hendrickson over to Hanson, and Hanson, the speedy guy, he always likes to push it. And Northern Valley will set here. I like that just this play is working over and over and over for the Northern Valley Junior High or Junior Varsity Huskies. As Skimper sets a great pick and they just dump it to him. And he takes his time, goes up, and he scores the hoop, giving him 10 on the night. He'll go for his 11th point at the night here at the free throw line, trying to make this a three point play. Northern Valley, late in this second quarter, has made a run right behind Drew Skimper. They're running their offense. And buckets are coming easy when they're block shots and underneath easy opportunities, not forcing a whole lot. Paz over to uh, Paz as well. Now back into the corner, fires another three. This one's going to be long. Kraus with the offensive rebound and the, the defensive controlled by Skimper. Now it's Jason Cox's turn to see if he can shove it back inside to uh, Skimper. As it doesn't matter. The ball just finds Skimper as he picks up that loose one. Preston to swing to, to Cox. Open for three. 
This is going to be just long, controlled with 6-5-4. Can they get a shot off long to the rim? Going to be no good, and that will be the half as Northern Valley, late in that second quarter, takes advantage of uh, Drew Skimper in the pick and roll game. The uh, Paz, Paz brothers, Jose and Alex, will start for the Bison with Rodriguez, Beckman, and Krause. Paz trying to go around Jason, gets a shot up and in. Great play, Jose Paz uh, for the junior, the six foot junior, um, goes around and scores that bucket. The first defensive possession uh, works for the Bison, but a quick turnover here by Alex Paz. Looks like they got it for a double dribble. Oh, I was marking some stats down, but he might have. Yep, that's right. Coach Poindexter has uh, switched it up. He's left the man-to-man -man and now going to the uh, zone defense. And that uh, gave an open shot opportunity in the corner to Brody Preston. Misses everything. Hendrickson tries to control the rebound, but it doesn't. It goes off of him. Northern Valley into their 2-2-1 press. Here's Beckman trying to break it. As he's going to get called for that, um, that hesitation dribble and there. They're calling it a double dribble or a carry. And Northern Valley will retain it. This camera angle is nice and tight here. Uh, you'll be able to see the in intricacies of this offense. It's a high screen and roll offense, and they're trying to roll it over. If it's not there, they swing it to the other side and, and do it again from the other side. Always taking the ball into the middle off of that screen. Turned over here is Kraus. Kraus going to have another opportunity to go to the rim. Up and in. Pete Kraus with the steal and layup. Northern Valley up 21-15. As Krause had active hands. There's the screen and roll, but they double it. Nice play by Beckman. Turnover, and here's Rodriguez trying to squeeze it in. It's going to be knocked out by Preston, saved by Preston. Good play. I thought Rodriguez was going to squeeze it in there to Kraus, but Preston just got enough of a finger on it to, to deny that happening. Cox into Skimper, knocked out of there by Paz. Over to Hendrickson. Hendrickson's got it blocked, and it will stay here with, stay here underneath with the Huskies. As that ball was blocked inside when Hendrickson tried to shoot it. Cox in the corner works around Hendrickson's screen. Going to have wide open attempt for Brody Preston. Just long battle in there for a rebound. They're going to get Hendrickson on the whistle here as he and Rodriguez really fought for that one. Beckman long pass to Paz. Nobody's guarding him. He's going to shoot the three. He's going to nail the three. <laughs> Nice play, Jose Paz. That's where the uh, press kind of beats you. Kai Cox to the rim. Going to have a hand check up top. And this one will go against Jose Paz. Paz. Twenty-one eighteen. 21-18 as we'll restart this one here underneath. It's Kai Cox. Inside to Skimper. Skimper does not get this one to fall. Rebound pass up to Rodriguez. Rodriguez around Preston up to the rim. No good. And that, wow, Brody Preston with a nice rebound up to Cox. Into the corner to Cox. He's going to have an opportunity to turn it over as Beckman just takes it away from him. He's going to get it to Paz into Kraus. Going to be short with the shot. But that one's going to swing it around. Another wide open three. This one goes off for Alex Paz. Northern Valley. Now here on the offensive end is 
It's not been very smooth here in this second half. Three minutes into it, haven't ran too much offense here. Cox into the corner. Now Kai Cox for three. Yeah. Kai Cox says, give me all three of these. As, no, as, as Atwood has made the adjustment, they're taking that uh, Drew Skimper roll to the bucket and trying to shove everything inside. Nice defensive play by Skimper blocking Kraus. That ball's going to stay there. Kraus thought he had an opening, but Skimper denies it. Northern Valley uh, going to have to continue to make those outside shots with him just forcing the ball out of Skimper's hands. Pass with another three. Out to Beckman. Beckman to the rim. Blocked by Drew Skimper. Nice play by Drew. Ball's going to stay with Atwood underneath. Drew Skimper with two blocks in this sequence here. Rodriguez to pass. Back to Rodriguez in the corner. He's going to drive and drop to pass up and in for the score. And that's all because of the pass. And that was a great one by uh, Bryant Rodriguez. Great pass in there by him. Scores the bucket. Drew Skimper rolls. Going to be fouled. He'll go to the rim. They could have picked a couple of them. I don't know who the foul is going to go on at this point. It's going to go on number one, Jose Paz. It'll be his second and the team's second. Drew Skimper to the line with Northern Valley up 24-20 with 4.06 left to go here in the third quarter. Skimper remains perfect from the line. Two for two tonight from the free throw stripe from Drew Skimper. Second one up and good as well. Three for three on the night. Drew Skimper, nice touch and uh, making him pay. Rodriguez trying to push it up the sideline. Northern Valley's pressure here on the full court side is is causing some issues and, and causing a few too, too, many, too many turnovers here for the Buffaloes. Preston to Cox. Pick and roll, dump inside. Ball gets way deep. Paz thought he had a rejection there, but they're going to get him with the body foul. The big man, Drew Skimper, back to the line where he has been perfect for tonight. And there's the announcer's jinx, as always, as he misses this one. Three for four on a night so far for Drew Skimper from the free throw line. To go along with 15 to, for the night so far for Drew. Second one is good. Four for five ain't too bad. That ball looks like it's going to go back to the Huskies. Another one of those pressure um, uh, turnovers that has been caused by the 2-2-1 two, two, zone pressure applied by the Huskies. Jason Cox into the corner. Skimper up top. Now to Cox, working around Skimper's. Uh, stolen out of there, and now it's Rodriguez. He'll go right at Skimper. Skimper and him go up to the rim. Rebound up in there by Paz. Rebound by uh, De uh, Delaney. Donnie wanted a foul, didn't get one. Northern Valley will turn the other way as Preston goes to the rim. Called for a hesitation palm dribble and it will be a turnover. Garnett to inbound. Garnett all the way up to pass. Over to Delaney. High off the rim, but no good. Controlled by Skimper. 27-20, Northern Valley up with 2.48 to go here in the third quarter. When Northern Valley runs their offense, they get some very good shots. It's when they try to go a little freestyle that they get a little sticky with the ball. Cox with the turnarounder in the lane there. Uh, up and good for him, giving him seven on the game. Pass, nice no-look top inside Delaney score. Valley up 29-22. 
as a, a lot of it's been due to the pressure. Uh, they've gotten a lot of easy possessions here, Northern Valley has, but then they've also given up some easy layups to the Bison as well. Preston in the corner, working on Garnett. We got a double foul down here on the bottom as he's going to get 33 for Northern Valley and 13 for um, Atwood. So both of them will go in the books as a foul. Go to the uh, possession arrow. And it looks like Atwood will get the possession arrow on Skimper. That's his second, team second. And on Delaney, that's uh, um, his first on the night, team fourth. Preston left alone, will fire the three, will make the three. And that's what Northern Valley's done a good job of here in the second half. Uh, Atwood has made the adjustment and left the shooters out there a little bit because they've just been getting beat up inside so much. And Northern Valley's capitalizing on wide open shots. Right to the rim is Garnett. He's going to go right to the free throw line. I don't know who they're going to get on the call. 20 with the foul. Kai Cox is fourth. With 144 to go here in, in this one. Free throw by Garnett is a little long and no good. Second attempt up and also long and no good, but controlled in there by Delaney as he fought for it hard. Tried to kick it out here to Rodriguez in the corner, but just a little strong on it. Northern Valley playing with five here as, as Kai Cox has got to be smart with those four personal fouls. Just 1.30 left to go here in the third quarter. Skimper up top into Brody Preston in the corner. Traveling in over there as he made a pump fake and switched his pivot foot. Turnover and Rodriguez will set the offense for the Buffaloes. Here's Paz. Nobody's going to stop him all the way to the rim. Hendrickson got a hand on that one as it went to the rim for a block shot. I thought Paz had an easy way to the bucket. Hendrickson jumps fast for only being six or five foot. Something in there. He, he elevates quickly. Preston working his way around this out-of-bounds line down here on the corner as Cox goes to the rim, up, and in. Kai Cox with his four personal fouls doesn't care. He's going to put his head down and go to the rim, and we'll go to the replays. He comes around, up and down, and it falls for Cox. He'll go for the uh, old-fashioned three-point play here from the free throw stripe. As it goes up and down for Cox, giving him 10 in the game. The foul there went on Rodriguez, his second, as we're now under a minute to go in the third quarter. Garrett around all the way to the rim, and it doesn't get that one to fall. Two-man game again, Cox and, and Skimper. Now Jason Cox all the way to the rim. We're going to have a push. I believe Ashton Rickford's going to be whistled for this one. The 5'5 five -five freshman. Well, do you know what's going on? Um, had a little delay there. I don't know for sure, for sure what what that was about. But we're back into action here. As Preston's going to have another open three. He didn't take long to fire that one, but it's going to be long controlled by Rodriguez, and he's going to push. He's got four of them around him, and he's going to wiggle his way through. Paz is open in the corner for three. Bang! <laughs> Jose Paz with 12 on the evening, and I don't even think he played in that first quarter. 
turnover. Jason Cox with the travel. This is just what Atwood needed here uh, with 5.4 to go. If they can get another bucket here, chip, chip, chip away here. Here's Rodriguez. He's going to penetrate. He's going to get all the way to the rim with the left hand up and in. Scores over Preston. Atwood with a quick five at the end of the quarter, bringing it back. Northern Valley will end this quarter still with the lead, 35-27. to 27. Alex Paz, Brady Beckman, Kelby Garrett, Kraus, and Rickford. Rickford open for three. It's going to be long on this shot. Going to go off Cox, controlled in there, and it'll be inbounded. Uh, for the Bison, or the Buffalo, excuse me, Kraus. Pump fakes, get it back to Beckman. Over to Paz, into the corner. Now it's Garrett trying to get a skip pass to Kraus, knocked out of there by Hendrickson. Paz open for three. Made a couple already. Looks like we got a foul on the rebound. Going to go against the Buffaloes. Kelby Garrett. And he will uh, cause Preston. Oh, Kai Cox is going to go to the line. I thought Brody Preston was going to have that opportunity, but uh, to the line, Kai Cox. First one up, just long controlled by Kraus. To Rickford. Around Hanson to the rim. Had it blocked in there by Hanson. And Hanson will control and push. Around the back dribble. Waiting on Skimper now into the corner for Cox. He'll fire another three. This one's going to be short. Rebounded by Hendrickson. Up and in. Offensive rebound for Aaron Hendrickson in the bucket. And as Northern Valley's opened up to a 10-point lead, 37-27 here in Atwood. Stolen, oh, hands on, and I thought he can control it by Cox. This one's going to be skipped over to Beckman. He'll fire a three. This one will be long, controlled by Skimper. Skimper finds Hendrickson. Nobody had Aaron Hendrickson the entire possession there, and they finally got the ball to him. Fourth quarter action here with 6.38 to go. Northern Valley up to a 39-27 lead over the Buffaloes from Rowland County. They ran a little bit of pick and roll of their own there with Kraus and Garrett. Foul inside. Jeremiah Hansen will pick this one up. Team's third foul. Quickly shot by Beckman in the corner. Rebound by Paz. Stripped by Brody Preston with active hands as he's going to push and try and go all the way. Going to hit the trailer as Jason Cox is open for three. No shot, no good, and Garrett will control. Strong rebound by Garrett as Paz into the corner. Step back three, thought about it. Going to get called for the travel as Drew Skimper came up on him. He saw it coming and would have had that one blocked. Paz knew that he couldn't let that one fly. Uh, had thoughts of the step back three. But good defense there by Drew Skimper. Pick and roll action. Hanson and Skimper going to reverse the ball all the way to Kai Cox in the corner. He'll go around the screen from Cox to the rim, and I believe that's going to be the end of the game for Kai Cox. He went to the rim. Uh, a very aggressive play like we talked about last time. Worked out well for him. This time, number 44, Garrett steps in, draws the charge, and Kai Cox goes to the bench with his fifth foul of the night. And, and, and that will be the end for him. He finishes the game with 10 points on the night. Left some time on the clock there for Kai Cox, but uh, nice, nice hard effort as he went to the rim.
Delaney, hesitation dribble, going to get it up on the rim, going to be no good, controlled by Beckman and reset by Paz into the corner, Delaney. Out top stolen by Hanson and Kraus going back and forth, back and forth. They each kind of had it a couple times, controlled by, by Kraus. Jason Cox will be whistled for this one as he was trying to make a steal in there. Tough play by uh, Delaney. Sage Delaney, uh, a wide kid that controls the basketball pretty good. It's difficult to pull it away from him. Made a good play on that one. As they'll get it inside to Kraus, a little jump shot in the lane. Good. Pete Kraus now with eight on the evening. Brody Preston back and forth around Hendrickson's screen. Now reverse it. Nobody's guarding Hanson. This one's going to be just short. Ten-point game right here as Kraus will save it into Paz. He's going to stop, stop in the middle of the lane. Nice, quick feet. Wow, what a play by Paz. Is, is look at this, he stops right there and drops that bucket right in for the bucket. As Cox is going to get whistled for another turnover in the quarter. Jason is uh, uh, hearing it from his dad up here, wanting to nail in that foot in there, stop moving him. But uh, we got ourselves a ball game here. If, if the Buffaloes can score again, As the cry for working hard on the defensive side comes off the Northern Valley bench. Delaney to the rim, probably gets a, uh, doesn't get the foul call there. Northern Valley will control, and they need a bucket here to kind of kind of calm their nerves here to, to just continue to stretch this. Jeremiah Hansen now to Preston. Fouled up top. The foul is going to go against Grady Lohefner. Low Hefner's second foul. Preston way short on that one and one opportunity. Kind of works out in the Buffalo's favor. Low Hefner's going to get called for the hesitation dribble. He's trying to go around Skimper. Kind of got that ball caught in his elbow there if it went from the right hand back to the left hand. On the Valley always pushing it over here to the right side, it seems like, but it, it's it's working as Kraus with the steal. His third opportunity to go to the rim. He, and a whistle and a travel. Great active hands by Pete Kraus. He's had three opportunities where he's stolen the ball way up top of the key and, and had opportunities to score. A lot of motor in there from Pete. As the defensive pressure has stepped up here by the Buffaloes, Cox is going to get whistled. He's going to get a foul call this time. I thought he got whistled for yet another travel. Foul's going to go with Delaney. Delaney's second foul, team ninth. Jason goes to the one-on-one -one opportunity here. Way long on that one. Hendrickson with a nice spot rebound. As the scrum continues, ball stays here with Northern Valley. Hendrickson, like we talked about earlier in the game, he knows his role. His role is to go get that ball off the rebound, control the glass, and, and be the energy here for the Junior Varsity Huskies. Jason wide open in the corner for a three, just short. Controlled by Garrett, and he will push. He's going to go right around Skimper all the way to the rim, just going to leave it short. Hen Hanson with the rebound. He will turn and go the complete other direction. Going to go coast to coast, but Garrett's going to foul him. Hanson's going to go to the line to shoot two because I think uh, that's going to be the 10th foul on the Buffaloes. It was not a shooting opportunity, but Garrett got him, and that's going to put him into the double bonus. Hanson to the line to shoot two.
long on that attempt. Second one for Hanson. Up and good. Timeout call here by Coach Brands. We're going to take a full timeout with them. Northern Valley 40, Rowling County 31. Rural location gives them. Just under three to go in the game with a nine-point lead. Offense is going to need to have happen right here by, by the Buffaloes. As Coach Poindexter probably drew something up here, this one's not going to work. Kraus, I believe, is going to get called for that. <clears throat> Kraus was battling that rebound with Preston. Preston had good position in there, and he will go to the line. Shooting two here for Brody Preston. First one is up and in. Second one for Preston, also in. 11-point lead now for the Huskies as we approach two and a half to go in the game. To the rim, turned over there by Garrett. And Hanson says, let's settle the troops here, boys, and just, just work it out here. Called for a violation in the backcourt. The ball will go back to Rollins County. Low Hefner over to Paz. Ball will stay here. Low Hefner to inbounds. Garrett working back and forth. He'll get the ball and set it at point. Working on Hendrickson. Goes right around him. Looks like they're going to get a hand check on. It's going to be the 16 foul, so we're going to shoot a one and one Jason Cox is going to be whistled for it. That's his third. Team seventh will be in the one and one bonus the rest of the way. Free throw long, controlled by Preston. I was wrong. <coughs> Hanson to Br Preston in the corner. Nice solid screen by Hendrickson and roll. Now to Hanson again. Hendrickson will set another screen. Stolen by Hefner. Got over and just kind of. We got a, <laughs> we got a held ball. And Atwood to control. 143 left to go, 42-31, Northern Valley up. Low Hefner's going to get called for a violation as well out here on top. Cox working around the skimper screen, and there it is, just where it's been all night long. It might as well be the same thing. His skimper caught it on the roll and had to go up there. Just about absolutely nothing Sage Delaney could do. The position was made there by skimper. He had to foul him and make him earn him from the free throw line. Delaney's third foul team, uh, team there in the double bonus. But skimper to the line where he's been really fine here tonight. Five for six now for the night for Skimper. Make it six for seven on the night from the free throw line and 18 so far in the game for Skimper. He's led Northern Valley's junior varsity in scoring the entire season almost. Really a high, high percentage shooter, Drew Skimper. Cox had a 
stolen in there, and he got it stolen back from Low Hefner and the Buffaloes to push. Turn around by Kraus. No good. Ball will be Northern Valley's. Atwood stayed in this man-to-man -man all game long. Ripped out of there by Lowe Hefner. His Brody Preston was a little too lackadaisical. He's going to go to the rim, just short. Rebound by Preston. And it's going to be tied up. This possession arrow goes to the Huskies. Under 30 to go here in the game now. Cox in the corner to Hanson. Dribbles out top. Picked off by Low Hefner. He's going to go to the rim, but he's got to get it up over two athletes there. It's, as he does not get the foul call. Is <laughs> coming back in as Delaney with a shot missed. Hefner is going to get this one to fall. Grady with the offensive rebound and score. As 1.4 left to go on the clock. Uh, looks like Skimper will go to the line. Six for seven from the free throw lane, or from the free throw line for Drew Skimper on the night. This one just short. As he looked over his head, he wanted 20, I think, on the game and knew that when he missed that one, he wasn't going to get there. He's going to probably finish this game with 19 as he makes that one. And that will be the end of the Junior Varsity game here tonight. Northern Valley stays undefeated in the Junior Varsity boys' action. They put up 45 tonight, and Rollins County Buffalo's 33.